The Holy Spirit is Jesus without boundaries or limitations. Using technology as an analogy, one could say that the Holy Spirit is Jesus on the cloud. The Holy Spirit is the one who gives us boldness to evangelize. Think about what he did with Peter in Acts chapter 2. The same man who once denied Jesus became one who boldly proclaimed the gospel. And for every time he denied Jesus, a thousand people came to the Lord. The Holy Spirit changed him from a man who denied Jesus three times to a man who won 3,000 people to the way of salvation. The Holy Spirit stirs faith within the soul, causing us to believe God for the miraculous in ways we would not have otherwise believed. The Holy Spirit is the one who helps us to pray because no man or woman, no matter how anointed they are, knows the way into the presence of God. Only the Holy Spirit knows the way into the presence. In prayer, He guides us. In worship, He reveals Jesus and makes Him real, causing our hearts to be stirred and to burn with holy fire to where we cannot contain that passion. That passion then overflows from us as adoration toward Jesus. The Holy Spirit is the one who helps us to walk in holiness. So to those who are bound and weighed down by the shame and the sickness that is sin, He offers freedom. He is the Holiness Spirit, the one who breaks the power and the chains of even those habits that have kept us bound for years. He breaks those addictions. He shatters those bondages. The Holy Spirit is the one who delivers the captives from demonic oppression. He gives us revelation of the Word. When we desire to see Jesus in the Word, the Holy Spirit causes the information from the Word to become revelation, and that revelation brings transformation. The Holy Spirit is the one who goes with us everywhere, giving us the words to speak when we don't know what we should say. In those moments when we say, Holy Spirit, help me. I don't know how to win this one to the Lord. I don't know how to speak. I don't know what I should say. The Holy Spirit will then stir within you words that come straight from your heavenly Father. The Holy Spirit is the one who opens the heart of the sinner. He causes them to go from being stubborn, stone-hearted individuals to people who bow before Jesus as Lord. The Holy Spirit is the one who anoints us for ministry and appoints us into the call of God. He takes ordinary lives and makes them lives that transform the world. I like to say that a single moment spent in the presence of the Holy Spirit can transform your life. But a life spent in the presence of the Holy Spirit can transform the nations. The Holy Spirit is that something more, that deep stirring. What was it do you think that caused the martyrs to lay down their lives and say, take my blood, I want to preach the gospel, Jesus is Lord. That's the Holy Spirit who sheds the love of God abroad in our hearts. The Holy Spirit is the one who gives to us all the promises of the Father, who causes us to walk in the perfect will of God, not just day by day, but moment by moment. I'm David Ega Hernandez, and that is your Moment of Truth. For more free content like this and to stay directly connected to me, sign up for my emailing list. You'll get free weekly videos and special announcements. To sign up, just go to davidhernandezministries.com slash email. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Also, help us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.